How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? The Joker Gamer YT here. And we have a brand new vehicle in the Crew Motorfest. The 1986 Buick Grand National GNX. One of Buick's most successful and most amazing muscle cars ever. This is something that I was not expecting. The Ford Mustang Dark Horse will be coming into the game. So let's look at the details. So this is a front wheel drive vehicle with a transmission. 809 is the max power, since I have my car fully maxed out. Um, 3,545 pounds. Speed is 180. Acceleration, uh, 3.50 seconds. Braking 21.4 yards and lateral G 0 0.95. This is one hell of a beautiful car. I am not gonna lie. So let's take a look at the interior. This is better. This is much better light here. All right. As you can see, we're in better light now. We can see kind of we can kind of see the car a little bit better. So this is the outside of the car, the exterior. We have the interior view is just spot on. Has a beautiful gray and white back seats. Oh, it's the turbo, oh, it's a turbo edition. It's a 38 liter turbo. This is the turbo regal. And this is something even cooler. Look at this. This is one of the coolest things about this about this that I just now noticed. Look at this. It says General Motors. This vehicle is equipped with a factory ins installed theft warning system. So this vehicle has basically the whole nine yards when it comes to theft. The fact that they have that sticker on there is freaking epic. Here's the grill. It says GNX on with Buick GNX. Got the classic vintage GNX rims and Buick GNX rims are here. They're black. Cause that's what the 86 Grand National GNX had. And on, and on the other side, it also says it too. This vehicle is equipped with a factory installed theft warning system. Stock exhaust, stock tail lights, blacked out. Beautiful rear. Your bumper, let's go into the under part of the car. See the... You can see the back of there, the transmission. My transmission's up front, but you can see the, the rear axle. Right there, it's not a good view, but you can see it right in between there. Right in between the rear tire. There's the fuel cell right there, the fuel tank under the car, right? There's the 
Right there's the bolt to the rear end of the car. The exhaust system. I like that they did a straight pipe with this reel actually, which looks really nice. There's the brake discs. So you, you can even see the brake discs on it. I can't, I don't know why you can't see under the car though. And opening the hood, you can't see what's under the hood. I currently would have this, this car would currently be on there, but it technically, since the stupid thing is broken in this game, the stupid uh, custom area is broken and they have six days to repair it. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even collect my stupid, my stupid rewards. So, so yeah, this is the, 1986 if you have the year one pass you will get it um i believe with the year one pass also will come the 2024 ford mustang dark horse i'm not 100 percent sure on that yet but if you do have this car um comment down below what you think of this car if you like it in the game should it be in the game I think personally, I think it should be in the game because it is a Buick and Buicks were known to make really good content, really good cars that were tough and they were actually built to last, especially the Rant, the Regal. So this one, let's do a burnout to wrap it up here. Let's do a burnout. Okay. So let's go over the pros of this car. The car is fast as hell. The car brakes really good. Oh my God, and that car was whipping this shit. Oh, here it comes again. <laughs> um, the pros. So this car is fast as hell when it's fully tuned. It's, it has pretty good steering at high speeds. Braking on it is fantastic. The cons, the car drifts pretty badly like it you drift it and you wipe out immediately like you'll spin out like in two seconds like a heartbeat honestly and that's just from my experience of this car um i don't know if that'll ever be fixed in this game if it should if it is it should be fixed and that ai just took out a light bulb i was not expecting that the engine sound it's engine wise it sounds amazing jesus it sounds fantastic um it kind of sounds just like a turbo a turbo vehicle interior wise it's spot on i like how they have the turbo the turbo emblem on the on the dashboard and i also like how they have uh, it on the glove box right there on the yeah on the glove box or on the glove box it says buick gnx on, on it this car had i think ac i think air conditioning and a built-in radio on this for a car <laughs> weird the freaking um popping sound of the exhaust has a kind of a weird sound i guess it sounds okay i guess it'll probably rub off but let's see how the, it does for the burnout though RPMs, so just to let you know that. So it's not like the Chevelle SS in this game where it, where it gets up to like 6,000 RPMs. 
But, oh, another pro about this car is that it drifts really well, but if you get on, if you get really hard onto the gas and you screech, like brakes on this is really good. Backing up, it spins the tires, which is not what it's supposed to do. Even if you go gentle on the, on the gas, it leaves a little screech mark on the road. And it doesn't matter if you go easy on the easy on the tires on this car, if you reverse, it'll still spin the tires. It's got way too much spinning resistance on this car. See? Sixty. It does not do those, so you can't whip it around unless it's got a special power. Unless it's got enough power to spin the top or to whip it around. But see you breaking. Not bad. So let's do it. Let's let's floor it, and then we'll. I'll show you the. So if you spin it, if you if you turn your car at a certain direction with this vehicle, like see how good it steers, and but it turns so wide, and then you wreck your car. But if you do a, if you if you hit the e brake when you're turning. Like this, you basically lose it, and you hit you hit a tree. I'm not hitting on the regal. I like it a lot in real life. I'm just showing you guys what the pros and cons are. So. side to side it does pretty good with that on their console if you play it on PS5 or PS4. Or I should say both. If you play it on PS4 and PS5, you will get it up, you will get it update. And the and to let you know, the car the custom shop is actually broken at this time. I have no idea when they will fix it. I hope they do fix it because I would like to collect my rewards. If like you hit sand, it'll 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 steer out of control. Look at that! I'm actually bogged down in the, in the sand. So that's the pros and cons of the Grand National. Is it a great car? I would say so. Does it pass my inspection? Yeah. My review or my score on this car, probably 9 out of 10. It's okay, but it needs a little bit of work still. I think Ubisoft released this car a little bit too early. They should have did a little bit more work on the track. The traction is like the number one 
thing that they messed up on that they could have done that they could have fixed if it's fully tuned it, the, the, it should take off like a rocket because it's a Buick Buicks are known to be fast cars exhaust sound wise sounds pretty well it sounds pretty good I wish the exhaust was a little bit louder with a more kind of like a more of a camshaft, kind of like a sound effect. Like if it had that, I would, that would probably get a 10, but so far it gets a nine, but all in all, that's my review of the Grand National, of the 1986 Buick Grand National GNX in the Crew Motorfest. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and please subscribe and we'll see you for the next review.